So I've had a little play with my presets. I've gone through all the options that I've wanted and you can see that I've organized them nice and tidy. There's not too much information, but there's enough to let me know what I'm doing. I've managed to put all of my IPTC metadata together and all of my EXIF metadata together quite simply by clicking on the title and dragging it up and down the list as I need to, to rearrange. It just helps it be more personal, more useful for you. Now, if we go to my first image here, I've already started to input the data about the file. A few tips for you, if you go to keywords, you need to separate separate keywords with a comma and a space. So if we type in one keyword, I want those two words to be one keyword. So after them, my comma and a space, and then I can type in as I need to, single words, as many as you wish. If you don't use a comma and a space, it will just be seen as one big keyword. And when you use websites, or if you have a picture editor going through, the hits to your pictures won't be quite so accurate. So it's well worth spending some time going through and making sure that you have accurately keyworded your images. The next useful feature is copyright notice. Again, this just means that if someone picks it up, they can know who to attribute the photo to. And if you're looking for that copyright logo on a Mac keyboard, if you hold down Alt and G, you get the circle copyright C. There we go. So. My first image has all of the metadata that I need, but my next one and my next one haven't. It would be a pain that if I had to copy that out and type it each time, but Aperture has got a way of copying that across for us. With the image highlighted that has got metadata attached to it, we see that we have a little tag, luggage tag logo, to let me know that that one has been metadata tagged and the others haven't. With that highlighted, if I go down to the bottom, we can see there is a lift tool and a stamp tool. What this does is lift the metadata and stamp the metadata between the images. So if I click lift, we get a little free floating window here. And if we zoom in on it, we can see that it has copied the IPTC and the keywords if I had made any adjustments, they would show up too. And if there is anything that I don't want to copy and stamp or copy and paste between the images, I can highlight it, hit the delete key, and it hasn't removed it from that one image, but it won't copy it and paste it to the other images. So if I highlight the next three images and either click the stamp tool at the bottom or where it says stamp at the bottom of this free floating window, we can see that the tags have now been added to the next three images. If we close this window and click on these, we can see that the metadata has been copied across. Easy as that. I just have to work out whether I want to copy that data to all of the images or just some of the next ones.